Do you know how to use a rapid test kit? With local COVID cases on the rise and more and more people are turning to at-home antigen tests to check for infection. But using them incorrectly can lead to inaccurate results or an experience that's more painful than it should be. As local COVID cases continue to rise, more and more people are trying out at-home rapid test kits. But sticking a cotton swab up one's nose can be a little intimidating. I saw that when you swab your nose, you have to go all the way in. It would feel like having a strange object in there. I think the swab has to be inserted quite deep. I would be concerned over whether I'm doing the rapid test correctly. To a certain degree, I'm a little worried about it being painful for children. I've had a swab before for the flu, so I know more or less what it feels like. This year, Nose and Throat Doctor released an educational video showing people how to correctly take a sample. To get it right, first probe your nose with your index finger, then angle the swab, insert and rotate. If you feel a slight discomfort, you're doing it right, he says. To minimize pain when extracting the swab, twist it around as you pull. When you're inserting it, you need to move it slightly and hold the swab lightly. You have to be gentle. If you put it in gently, it will stop on its own when it encounters resistance. This pediatrician demonstrates how to handle a sample once it's collected. Put the swab in the extraction tube and roll it around with the liquid. Then put three drops of the solution in the indicated spot on the test strip. You usually have to wait at least 10 or 15 minutes. At the beginning, the test is processing the sample, so it's not accurate unless you wait. There will be some color changes on the strip. Usually, the first line that appears is called the control line. That line should appear on every test. If the control line doesn't show up, it means that the test is faulty. So, how do you read the results? If there is just one line on the C, that means the test is negative. If two lines show up, that means it's positive. If there is no line on the C but a line on the T, or if no lines appear at all, that means you have an invalid result. If the result is negative, the test strip can be discarded. To dispose of it safely, make sure it is completely wrapped and sealed first. If the result is positive, seal it and take it with you to a PCR testing station to confirm the results.